Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on autonomous driving in Kala. This is another video when we talk about navigation. It's just the last one of the follow-up videos that I put together for navigation in particular. So what I wanted to do in this one is to show you a couple of um, final improvements I've made to the code. And as you can see, I've adjusted the way the route is drawn. So I'm only showing it like for literally one second each point and then it just uh, disappears. And you see in red, it shows you the when the car reaches to sort of goes towards the end of the route. So you can see where it ends and what happens after. And uh, as you probably saw before, my um, main code is now in a double loop. And each within each loop, as soon as we finish one route, we get to the next one. And my code, I'm telling you, if you try this, it's not 100% correct. Sometimes what happens, there are a couple of bugs in here. The first one is uh, the next navigation point sometime, uh, or start of the navigation route that for when we finish current one. The point where we start the next one it seems to be too far away and the car is just trying to cut across some buildings um which which is funny of course it can't get there and the other one is is sort of starts drawing all of these navigation routes um without actually car going through them so this code is not 100 percent perfect but what i wanted to talk to you about is the problem that we had last time when we didn't quite know what to do um when if we know whether the car just got past current navigation point that it was targeting. So I've got this new function here that its main objective is to see if um, like if the there is a better navigation point forward. So for example, we need to skip the current one and to go to the next one. The way this works is we we try 10 points forward and we measure angles to all of those points and the first one we pick that is below 40 degrees we just say yep yeah, that should be the next navigation uh, waypoint and i'm also just giving a bit more space so you see this i variable i multiplied by three so i'm not checking every single waypoint in the next 10 i'm just skipping a couple and i just i'm just checking every third waypoint and hopefully you get the idea. So the, in essence, all we're doing here is we're saying, okay, if I've got the angle that is quite steep, like which is, I may have passed the waypoint, I'm looking for an angle that is um, is not steep. And I'm just, I check the next few waypoints and I see, as soon as I get an angle under 40 degrees, it just says, yep, go to the next one, skip, all the waypoints in between hopefully it makes sense the, i was also thinking that we cal can calculate a couple of angles left to current point and the next um you know 10 points after and 10 points after and getting the logic that way but unfortunately there is still some kind of loop where you just need to iterate through some waypoints and figure out the closest to you however the one that's got like a proper angle and again, this is all very rough and very, um, you know, not perfect. And this is what I also wanted to mention. Oh, this is the second bug where the car is trying to draw navigation, uh, like a route around it. And then it may happen like a couple of times as you saw now, but sometimes it can get stuck in this loop and uh, for quite a while. So. This code is not perfect and that's where I wanted to mention where I wanted to go next. We've got a couple of options here. One, we could start considering the other road conditions such as, you know, bringing other cars and trying to see whether there is a sort of collision risk and slow the car down or stop or do uh, some maneuvers around that. Or we also need to consider traffic lights and you know potentially speed limits all that and 
uh, for me it's it, it's it's useful however using the cheats from the simulator because in the simulator it's all under your fingertips you can just say okay wh where are the lane markings where i am around me so if you want to refine your navigation you can check where the boundaries are so you don't actually uh, deliberately trying to direct the car to hit a curb or something like that or to stop at a red light and it's because it's available in the simulation it's all quite simple so another thing another direction we could take is to start drawing the um, directional lines within the camera or trying to figure out how we do that and like how long we keep it and for and what sort of other things we're showing we could draw a steering wheel and show her how it turns that kind of stuff that would also be cool however i wanted to um get this towards like doing the planner or decision engine and my sort of biggest question mark in my mind at this point i even asked chat gpt that question hey chat gpt what's the what's the way to consider traffic rules in autonomous driving and it didn't have an answer but it had few directions like oh well, this is the other bug obviously the car uh the route selection is not quite it hasn't finished the last route it's still in red and it got stuck for some reason so um anyway open to your suggestions as well hopefully you enjoyed it as far as recap is concerned i would also like to reiterate what we've learned or the main sort of things with navigation and steering so if let's just re recap quickly let's say we've got a car and we need to follow this kind of direction let's just put some uh, some dots around here so say for example we we needed to follow a navigation route that sort of goes this way and the car is currently facing uh, and the car is obviously facing this way and this should be quite thin so in essence we're doing few things we we pick a navigation point um in our route if I can draw so say for example we pick this navigation point and we're trying to direct the car towards it so what we do is we get we get the location of the car x and y coordinates we get the location of this waypoint we calculate an angle between that point and we convert it to a vector because the direction of the car that it's facing now this way is a vector as well and then we subtract the two vectors and we essentially get the angle that we need to put into the steering wheel we also do a couple of checks because unfortunately the sometimes it returns vectors that that kind of point 360 around 360 degrees it's similar direction but we need to just double check for those values and then once we've got the angle we put it into the steering wheel and as you can see the car follows um ends up because th these waypoints are quite accurately positioned on the road the car ends up not hitting any curbs and following the route quite nicely so um hopefully that was useful and i'm so looking forward to get to the next stage of this and figuring out how to do traffic rules and all that kind of stuff Thank you for your time and I'll see you later. Bye.